For review, Indiana, Miami, Toronto, Chicago, Washington, Brooklyn, Charlotte, Atlanta. Think about that list. Who do you bump off of it this year? Indiana, unfortunately. You injury. Want, you should be the Paul George's. Paul George, injury, leg injury, injury, Lance, Lance, Stevenson, uh, Lance Stevenson gone. Allen's to Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, I just think that team is in a rebuilding mode for a year. Obviously having one of the best two-way players in the game in Paul George. I think that's really going to – I know they went out and got Rodney Stuckey, C.J. Miles, but they're not the type of player that Paul George is. So right. I could see them going off. And quite frankly, I know Atlanta's been in the news lately, and I know they were exciting and they pushed Indiana. I could see them battling with Charlotte, Detroit for that 7th, 8th, ninth spot. I'll tell you what, the, the team that's going to be surprised people this year is the Charlotte Bobcats, the Hornets now. I love what they did. I love the kid, Noah Vonley from Indiana. I think the addition of Lance Stevenson, Al Jefferson for another year. I think they're really going to make a – they got a chance of being in the top four. If I had to bump a team, I might take the Hawks out of that equation. I think Indiana's – they're going to make the playoffs. I do. I think their coach is too good. I think they got too much veteran leadership. I'm interested in, in seeing if Miami will be a team that, that that's in the top four spots, or will they become a team that's fighting to even make the playoffs? Yeah, that's because, right. because you, you know, Miami is a team. You know, the you know the culture has been the same for a long time. They strive on getting one of those first four spots. I, th- I, I think New York is going to uh, be a playoff team this year. Um, I think Carmelo Anthony comes back. Uh, with a renewed uh, sense of energy and urgency. I think Fisher has a, a good impact and quiet impact on the team in terms of uh, J.R. Smith and those guys getting healthy, coming back. I think the system that they're going to employ uh, will be steady enough throughout the season. And I do think everybody coming back healthy uh, gives them an opportunity to make that seventh, eighth spot. I think the Knicks are going to surprise people this where, year. Where will Phil Jackson's uh, impact uh, be most noticeable on that team. When we first met Phil, I think we went what three and three and nine. It took a minute, yeah. yeah it took a minute, and then you know we just you know we just had all our meetings and said, okay, we're going to embrace it. Once we embraced it, then we became. Who was the we? Was team. it you? Yeah, it was me. Well, no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Rice. Uh, uh, was it Kobe? It was, was Big Shot Bob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to your point, New York, New York will make some. They'll make some noise. They definitely will. What do you mean uh, noise? Uh, they'll make some noise. What that mean? It could go either way. It's kind of like what Shaq says. You agree with both? I agree with both. They're gonna make noise. We'll be talking about them. Because the expectation is Are they a shift. playoff team? Uh, yes, they're a playoff team. Uh, I, think, I think Miami, you, you have them really high. You think they can yeah. still go back? I yeah. think they slide. And I think they slide potentially, to your point, Shaq, potentially out of the playoffs. Wow. And, and, and wow. The, reason I go there, the reason I go there is that the mileage is still on their two best players. The mileage on Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade are, is high in the last four years. They've gone to the NBA Finals the last four years in a row. Dwayne Wade has played at least 20 games less each year. So I actually think I, they're going to make the playoffs, in my opinion. I think the, the, the Dwayne Wade thing is whether they finish in the top four or six or seven or eight. Uh, because if he misses 25, 30 games, they, they are six to seven seed, in my opinion. I think Bosch gets back to what he was, maybe not numbers-wise, but back in the post area when he was in Toronto. To me, been down there in a while, I know it's man. been because yeah. he weighs about as to, much to, as you to, do. To Reggie. coach's point, <laughs> what they did that second year with Spolstra when they changed the offense, yeah. they made Chris Bosch a stretch four right. because they wanted to open it up for LeBron and Dwayne and to drive and to kick to Ray Allen, Mike Miller, Chalmers, Bosch to make threes. You saw when Dwayne Wade was hurt when it was really just LeBron and Chris Bosch. That's two big guys, though, LeBron and Chris Bosch. Dwayne goes down this year as Chris Bosch. But Lula I think Lula I think Lula Lula Deng is going to play better than what people expect. I, Pat Riley has a plan. He, yeah, no, yeah. You guys I mean, know Lula better Deng's than he was. Yeah. It's not like he's a, a, he's more than serviceable. Right. Uh, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a piece that over the last three years that people were saying that could help someone else or help them get to right. a championship. What happened in Cleveland? Well... 
What do you mean? Uh, well, when he, him, when uh, he made the transition to Cleveland. Just when you, it's like when you're on a ship that's sinking and you're the only one who knows how to swim, you just start swimming. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> but I do I, think LeBron leaving, we, one thing that we miss in LeBron is that him leaving, Miami loses, in my opinion, the best defender in the game. No question. You know, because we, we always talk about his offense. But the things that he Coming brought up to a them, lot of sins defensively. Passes, they can't even play as fast without yeah. LeBron. He was the four man. LeBron, name another team, maybe Westbrook, where the point guard gets it and pushes it up. And I thought that was unique about that team. Both of those guys, I think it's going to be a, a big drop off. I'm more with you. I don't really see them making the playoffs because now the best defender can check Bosch. And then one more point about the, about the um, triangle. I thought the best thing about the triangle was that it put people on a leash. Like, you know, Chuck, say you played and, and the guy was going crazy. You're like, why is my teammate doing this? He knows this is not his game or, or something like that. When we played you guys, it was always perfection, center opposite, this, that, and no one could just go crazy on their own. And I think that that's actually going to help New York, who has a problem with a bunch of guys going one-on-one -on -one yeah. crazy. And if they can actually just get shots in good places, you know, your offense is your defense. And I think, you know, I think New York is going to be better. A friend of mine, Quinn Buckner, ran the triangle in Dallas. Who did he run it? It was a square. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is about the players. And listen, these guys are all good players. I want to make that clear. But Carmelo, Iman Shumpert, J.R. Smith. Amari Stoudemire. Amari Stoudemire. Hardaway Jr. If you've been in the NBA for eight, nine, ten years, I don't think you're going to change. And those guys ain't going to be moving without the ball. Going here, walking, going through the path, running through there. I just think at some point you are the player you are. And I think it's going to be very difficult for those guys in New York to all of a sudden now like, okay, I, I, I'm open, but I can't shoot this. Yeah. I, got well, I, I think it's more, Chuck, yeah. you know, if everything open, does it. Everything in the triangle seems like it will work for New York, even with that lineup, until they start losing. Mm. Will they abandon it when it – the stretches and when it gets adversity in the game or difficulty, and you just go, you know what? D Fish, you're a first year guy. I'm doing my. Th that's when it. Mm -hmm. That's, and that's when what it I. Be, that's what yeah, I think's gonna happen. Yeah. Are they the best team in New York? Because we haven't even touched on on Brooklyn. They get Lionel Hollins, who we all feel got yeah. robbed in Memphis. Who's yeah. an excellent coach. Great coach. Lopez. It's all, it's all, it's all about, about Lopez. With them. It's all about Lopez. It is, yep. If Lopez comes back, they're not the better. Team. They're not the better. Darren team. Williams comes back. He had ankle surgery on both ankles. And he and I just read. He said he feels 100. percent Are they the first the, time? In to New me, York. I think they're the best team in New York. I think it's on. I think it's on yeah, D. If, Williams. If Lopez and, and Williams are healthy. Then you're correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then now you have. I mean, to me, no one's really talking about them. They're flying underneath the radar. I think Brooklyn is going to be a scary team. If, uh, if Cleveland is, the, uh, is a team that we know that didn't make the playoffs in the East last year but will this year, is anybody else out of this group ready to make a move into the top eight? Boston, Detroit, New York. Well, Foxy likes New York getting in there. Orlando, Philly, Milwaukee. Let I me think say, Detroit is. Let me say this. And I was Detroit's right got talent. Ernie, it is, uh, and Isaiah probably knows more because we all pay attention to our own team our old teams a little bit more. I cannot believe that with all the talent that Detroit have, they don't make the playoffs. And I mean, not even close. I mean, that team to me, when you look at their team on paper, they should be a top four team. That front line, that, is one, yeah. arguably one of the best front lines with yes. Josh Rowe. Smith, yes. yeah. Greg Monroe, and Andre Drummond. If Stan Van Gundy can't get these guys motivated to play on a, night, a nightly basis, because they got the size, they got the rebounding. To me, Branding Jennings has to reinvent his game. Yeah. And Josh Smith. That's true. Josh Smith. Yes, but the guy that's going to be facilitating and getting all these great scores and rebounders the ball, Branding Jennings has to reinvent his game because he's always been a one-on-one -on -one type score first point guard. He has to reinvent his game if the Pistons are going to be in the top eight. Chuck's point, at this point, is he the player he's going to be? Well, you got to ask that about six, Williams, seven. Too. Well, I think that's seven, why they went out. Williams more is about health, though. You know what, Chuck? I don't know, because he's always been a hamburger away. Yeah. You really want to be honest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's always in Utah. And like McDonald's, Burger King? Like, you, like yeah, like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, he's a, he a great player. He's a great player. You know, you get mad for saying this, but, you know, he's always been a little bit almost out of shape. And then when he wasn't in Utah attacking like that, and I know it's injuries, but 
because he was one of my favorite players. I was watching him like, okay, come on, uh, D, let's watch how you go. And I just think for him and Brandon Jennings, it is, like you said, you are that player, but it's great when you get a coach that kind of shows you a little bit of what else you could do and say, hey, just try this out, and hopefully it works so he can keep trying it and, and don't get frustrated. Right, but, well, but Brandon yeah. has to change his game. Well, a one-word answer here before we go to break. I don't know if you want to say they come out of the East to go to the finals. Best record in the Eastern Conference in the regular season will belong to? The Cavaliers. That's two words. What? The uh, Cavaliers. The Cavaliers. You're Cleveland would work. <laughs> you big dummy. You fell for it. Auburn <laughs> education. <laughs> hey, real boy, in there. Hey. Oh, boy. Yeah, Come you. on there, big fella. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Keep it up, Ronnie. Uh, uh, right uh, between the Cavaliers. <laughs> okay, Rick. Bulls, I'm going to my pick last uh, uh, One word. Bulls. Bulls. Chicago. <laughs> Cavs. Chicago. Chicago. Bulls. That's something to something. Was it a 5-3 or 6-2? Chicago? 6 2 Chicago. All right. Western Conference, right around the bend here on Open Court.